Today, I want to show you a feature that is built into Google Chrome that will help to improve performance by preloading pages in the background. This feature is actually already enabled, but it's only set to the standard method. However, we can improve its effectiveness by telling Chrome that we want it to preload those pages more often. With that said, enabling this feature has been known to increase your overall data usage, whether this is over your mobile network or on the Wi-Fi network. So it's just something that you should be aware of. So to begin, we're going to launch the Chrome browser. And then we're going to tap on the three dot menu icon in the top right corner. And then we need to scroll down a little bit until you see the settings option. And then we're going to tap that to dive into Chrome's settings page. Now, we're going to scroll through this list until we can find the privacy and security option. Once we tap that, then we're going to look for the preload pages menu. This is where the feature is housed and we can see that it is currently set to standard preloading. This is the option that your Google Chrome install will be set to by default. And we can see here that that means Google Chrome will preload pages that it thinks you are likely to visit. If you have allowed Google Chrome to use cookies, then it may use them for those preloading purposes. When a Google site asks to privately preload links on their page, Chrome will encrypt and preload those pages through Google servers without cookies so that it will hide your identity from those preloaded sites. And lastly, because the preloaded pages are encrypted and the site linking to the pages is a Google site, Google servers do not receive information when privately preloading these pages. So this is what this feature is set to by default. But again, you can see that we can change this to an extended preloading option. It's very quick to change, just a simple tap. And you can see here that most of these entries are exactly the same. However, when we change it to extended preloading, Google Chrome will more frequently load those pages in the background. Now, if you want, you could disable this entirely. However, we're going to keep this on extended preloading so that we can enjoy those added benefits. So if you are a heavy Google Chrome user and you would like to see the application perform better, then it's worth trying out the extended preloading feature to see if it improves your daily user experience. However, it is possible that preloading sites could have zero impact on how you browse the web. But it's more likely that having this feature enabled will allow you to read new content and see if a page has been updated much faster than before. So let me know your thoughts about this feature. I would be curious to know if you all were even aware that this feature existed or if you've possibly tested this feature in the past. Please share your thoughts down in the comment section below.